was lucky enough to have a couple of friends come up from Texas, take a look for some hogs out on a couple of properties. And it was a brutally hot night to share with them. First property, I actually had some corn set out down in the bottom right corner where the star is, but the hogs ended up coming in from behind us. So we packed our gear up and made a long trek through some extremely tall grass. Don't have an exact distance, but uh, once we got to where we were within range to see most of them, we lined up, Ben on the left, Brian on the right, and we started shooting. Wasn't quite sure exactly what we'd hit. Uh, very difficult to tell what's going on over here. That one I know was a hit. You could hear the thump along with this one too. Even though the dirt kicked up, I think it was a pass through from the round coming out of the hog. Scan left, scan right. That's pretty much it. I had to go over one more time though and put one down for the final count. And then we went for a long search. And here's a picture of Brian standing in the grass, waist high, and that's why we had a hard time finding hogs. But we managed to find five at least. This 240-pound sow on the right and four more in about the 75-pound range. Next property, we stopped over at another friend's place and took a look around and saw some hogs. So we made our way over. Again, estimated range. We're way out there. Didn't bother trying to take time. Um, you're going to see some operator error over here with me trying to get everything zoomed in right. I actually attempted to hit the zoom at one point and stopped the recording, which doesn't make for good video, but nothing that I produce makes for good video anyways. So I got Ben on the left, Brian on the right, and we start shooting hogs again. Probably shouldn't have taken that shot, but I did, and I got lucky with it. And now, the first hog that Bennett hit has come on off over to the right-hand side. So Brian took a step back. I took one shot here. I ended up hitting the hog in the rear end, causing her to spin. And I took another shot right here. At this point, I think Brian's starting to cuss me. And in between shooting, I'm apologizing to him because I'm bouncing brass off of his head. It's not a very friendly thing to do. I have one more chance to take a shot, and I'm able to put her down a little over 200 yards. But I'm sure if we had some video of it, it would have looked something like this. Anyways, we ended up with the first group with a 140-pound sow and six small shoats. And then this other 170-pound sow ended up making a little over 200 yards. None of the hits that I had connected very well with her. And off to the third property where we walked all the way around and managed to come across a lone boar in the back corner. Thought he was going to be bigger than this. Thought we were a little further away. We ended up only being 71 yards when I looked it up later on based off the terrain. Uh, he was a pretty small boar, but this time I'm on the right, so I'm not hitting anybody with any brass. So Brian's going to do the countdown. Three shots, three hits, and that one was it. And that's basically my hunt for the evening. This was a little 80-pound boar, spotted boar, looked nice, and he's not going to bother that place anymore. And it's the final hunt for my 308, too. Have a good day.